Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new, hi, I'm Daniela Shama Rose. Today, I'm going to give you five signs that God is preparing you to receive blessings and that you are walking into a season of overflow. Amen. I've seen these signs many times in my life before the blessings came in, whether it be getting saved, getting a promotion, or even before meeting my husband. And so if you want to find out today if the blessings are coming for you, let's dive in. So number one is that you've gone through some testing and trials. Let me tell you, before God blesses you, he is going to have you walk through some things, okay? Just like Joseph in the Bible, right? He endured slavery, betrayal, and even imprisonment before becoming the ruler of Egypt. And why did God let this happen, you may ask? Was it to make him suffer? And are your trials because God wants to make your life miserable? Heck no, that is not the way our amazing God works. Joseph's hardships prepared him for the crazy responsibility of saving nations during a flippin' famine. Just like what you have been through has strengthened you and built faith for the awesome things that are right around the corner for you. Number two is spiritual warfare, okay? No surprise here. The enemy has been working overtime to discourage and derail you. Just like my man Daniel in the Bible, remember? He experienced a delay in receiving an answer to his prayer because of spiritual warfare in the heavenly realms. The simple fact is, guys, is that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and powers, right? And we know this because Ephesians 6.12 tells us so. In simple terms, the devil hates you. And he does not want you to receive the blessings that he knows that God has coming for you. So he puts all his manpower into making sure it doesn't happen for you. You may have experienced this in the form of old habits coming back, or addictions, miscommunications leading to arguments, sudden or prolonged sicknesses. Maybe you've had unexplainable setbacks or obstacles in areas where progress should have happened and just didn't, and I could go on and on. But we know that Satan is no match for us. Because we are children of God and because we are covered by the blood of the Lamb. We have the armor of God and we have the authority to bind and to loose. And so stand strong because he is not able to keep you from your blessings. Number three is that you've been through a season of change. And in this season of change, God is pruning and refining you. And yes, girl, it is uncomfortable, but necessary. God might prune away things in your life that would hinder your blessing. Things that cannot go where he wants to take you, which is a place of greater fruitfulness. So he's changing things on the outside and the inside. He might prune out relationships, jobs, secret sins, bad habits, even where you live might have to go. Girl, you might have to move. Your desires will change. You might even need to walk away from some friendships that you've outgrown. And I'll be honest with you, this happened to me right before my husband came in. Now that may sound harsh, but it's really not. The season that God wants to take you to, these things, they just can't come. Just like you can't put new wine in old wineskins. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Okay guys, obedience is key here. Let God fully have his way with his little pruning shears so you can be made into a landing pad and a dwelling place for the blessings that are coming. Number four is that you've been through a waiting season. And God takes us through the waiting season to teach us patience and so that we can rely solely on him. He wants us to trust him. I can hear some of you guys right now going, oh yes, honey, I've been through the waiting. I've been through the waiting and I'm ready for the blessings now. I know, I hear you. I know some of you have been waiting in the waiting period for a very, very long time. I had to wait for a season two. I get it. I know it's hard. But please know what the Lord is doing in this season is growing our faith. Do you trust him? Do you believe that he is gonna do what he said to you he is going to do? Even when it looks like nothing is happening, 
even when it looks like nothing is changing. Look at David. He was anointed to be king as a young shepherd boy, but he had to wait for years, enduring all kinds of crazy things, guys, like hiding in caves so as not to be killed before he finally got to be the king that God anointed him to be. So just like David, the Lord has a purpose in your waiting. Although I know it can be frustrating and lonely and hard, trust him. And last but not least, number five is doors begin to open and opportunities appear. And this one's pretty self-explanatory, right? You'll know your blessing is near when you start to see new doors opening. Certain people all of a sudden just come into your life and resources just unexpectedly fall into your lap. So when this happens, I want you to get excited. The blessings are right around the corner. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. Our girl Ruth found favor with Boaz after faithfully serving Naomi. And this led to her blessing of marriage and becoming part of Jesus's lineage. How cool. So I pray for all of you that feel like this message is for you. I pray that you will be obedient and that you will be willing to go where he leads because God is a perfect gentleman and he will not force himself. That's not who he is. I'm so excited for you. Put your testimonies in the comments. Blessings and love.